John, always, always an optimist. What, what is your take on all these layoffs well, we've been seeing across te tech? First, first, I think it's a very small percentage of the total workforce. If you'd looked at the headcount in both these companies and in the startups three years ago, it was up like 40% uh, in three years. And in the last year, many of these companies grew their headcount almost at twice the rate that they were growing their revenue. So half of this was self-inflicted, but the numbers are relatively small. The points that you made, Sarah, are very good. Uh, and I'll compare it to 2001 in a positive way. In 2001, uh, the companies were growing very, very rapidly. But boy, when the spigot got turned off, I'll use my prior company as an example, Cisco, we went from 40 quarters in a row of 50 to 60 percent growth to in 45 days a negative number, which is mathematically impossible. So these are relatively small on the correction side. Uh, you, uh, the Arvin from IBM said it well. We yeah. see, I've got 20 startups. We see no weakness in enterprise spending. It is remarkably uh, solid. Uh, there are areas that are more solid, such as artificial intelligence and cybersecurity within that. And for the tech companies, uh, I think, it, especially the smaller ones, it was a good reset. When you have free money, you don't develop the basics like uh, the profitability and free cash flow. Uh, I've done that pretty well with our startups. I have now 11 unicorns, and only had two the last time we talked uh, about a year and a half ago, uh, and almost all of them are growing. So it's solid. That's the negative, however. The economy is stronger than people anticipate. Yeah. You commented about MasterCard and Tesla on the consumer side and the business side. So I think until you see a slowdown and a flattening out of the Fed activity in the first mm -hmm. step down, uh, that's probably when I would be more optimistic about the market moving. So the question is, is the resilience in the tech space and enterprise spending in particular and, and everything that's exposed, is it, is it just because the economy has more strong fundamental demand than we anticipated going into these rate hikes? And is the weakness coming or do you think this is something secular that's going to insulate certain pockets of tech? I don't think anybody's insulated from a recession, but I think the question you're leading me to is tech is here to stay. Uh, if you look at the top 25 jobs, best jobs in America, half of them are tech jobs in every category imaginable. Uh, if you look at every company going digital uh, and everyone in the market looking at how they gain competitive advantage, use automotive as an example, you differentiate your cars uh, on your uh, electronic dashboard, uh, your electronic car system, and self-driving. So almost all the big moves over the next decade will be tech. Now, having said that, Sarah, you and I have seen this movie before. Uh, out of the top, let's say, 20 tech yeah. players today, uh, you'll probably only see 10 be in the top 20 10 years from now. And there is no guarantee on who wins. I, I would anticipate out of the top six or seven tech companies, two or three exit the decade uh, in no longer a leading position in terms of the opportunity. They will be filled by others. It's hard Do to stay on top. Do you have an opinion on, on which ones? Uh, well, yeah, the ones that I really like, and the numbers are pretty solid here, uh, is the cloud companies who are also uh, moving into the application stack. So out of the four large uh, cloud players, you look at Amazon, you look at Microsoft, you look at Google, you look at Oracle, they are positioned remarkably well. Probably one of them will stumble. That's just the way the market works. I, I, I personally like Oracle. I think what Larry Ellison and team is doing there yeah. is very, very creative. You talked about ServiceNow. Uh, that's yep. kind of a, 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 a new player into this market. Bill McDermott's a, a tremendous CEO and a great friend for many years. I like that one. And while we're on favorites, I want Cincinnati to win this weekend, but I want them to play the 49ers uh, here shortly. There's Ronnie Lott, Jerry Rice, and Steve Young signatures behind me. So I, I love Cincinnati. I lived there for a while. I want you to beat uh, uh, very we well on this weekend, but we'll uh, I'd love to City. see those. I, you know what? That would be a, that would be a problem for my household if it's 49ers versus Bengals. That'll be the marital strife, but would be an exciting game. I, I John, thank you. you <laughs> Appreciate it. John Chambers, always good to see you. Your perspective on tech.